Hey guys, and thanks for joining me in this video. Today I'm going to be talking about the new Ultra Latin Velvet by Chanel. I'm going to show you how it applies on my skin and I'm going to compare it to Perfection Lumiere Velvet. Now I'm saying new Ultra Latin Velvet mainly because I know that a lot of you now are going to say this is the same old foundation, this is Perfection Lumiere Velvet but just in a new packaging. That's not completely true because well, I consider this to be a new reformulated version of Perfection Lumiere Velvet because it doesn't look the same on my skin. And I'm going to explain in this video. Also on Chanel's website, when I was purchasing the foundation, this is not a first impression review, by the way. I've had Ultra Latin Velvet for nearly a month and I've been wearing Ultra Latin Velvet for approximately a month on and off. I don't use it every single day. But yeah, I had it for a month, so this is not a first impression review. Now the change is minor. However, on Chanel's website, when I was purchasing Ultra Latin Velvet, it was written new. So I consider this to be a new foundation. If Chanel writes, this is a new foundation, I consider this to be a new foundation. Also, I had a little chat when I was purchasing this foundation. I purchased this from Chanel's French website because it was released first on Chanel's French website. And when I was purchasing this, I had a little chat with one of the Chanel's representatives. It was an online chat and I asked them what was the difference between Perfection Lumiere Velvet and Ultra Latent Velvet. And the lady was really very, very kind and she explained exactly the difference between these two foundations. She said Ultra Latin Velvet is a little bit thicker and Perfection Lumiere Velvet looks a little bit more natural than Ultra Latin Velvet. So yeah, that's exactly the difference between those two foundations. Now, for those of you who consider this to be the same foundation, yes, the change is very minor. However, the ingredients are not identical. There are two minor changes and I can definitely feel that on my skin. Now, I'm a person who is repurchasing Perfection Lumiere Velvet. For the first time, I found Perfection Lumiere Velvet in the summer of 2015. And ever since the summer of 2015, I've been repurchasing Perfection Lumiere Velvet in three shades. I always have Perfection Lumiere Velvet in number 10, 20 and 30 because I'm usually mixing them and this is my most repurchased foundation. Now with this foundation it does feel a little bit different. It's true that the change is very minor and most of you are pre probably not going to even notice the difference, especially those of you who are not repurchasing the foundation on a regular basis. Um, you're probably not going to notice the difference. However, this Ultra Latin Velvet is a little bit more matte and it does feel a little bit irritating on my skin. All right, so let's go ahead and try this foundation now. With this foundation, preparation is really essential. If you don't take your time while preparing your skin, you might end up being disappointed because this is a very matte foundation and it, you really have to prepare your skin properly before applying this foundation. Otherwise, as the day goes, your foundation is not going to look as good. So I've already moisturized my face and the night before I've exfoliated my skin. So right now my skin is very, very smooth and it's very moisturized. So as a moisturizer, I used the Hydro Beauty Micro Serum and then on top I used the Hydro Beauty Cream. Usually I will never layer two moisturizers on my skin during the summer because my skin will generally get oily throughout the day and this is way too much for my skin because I have normal to combination skin during the summer it's quite oily but with this foundation I really need additional moisture otherwise during the day my foundation will start cracking and it's not going to look as good. So I'm going to shake it just like I would do with Perfection Lumiere Velvet. So at first when I pour the foundation on the back of my hand, it looks like Perfection Lumiere Velvet. It looks exactly like Perfection Lumiere Velvet. But then once I start applying the foundation to my skin, it is not going to blend as effortlessly as Perfection Lumiere Velvet. I can apply Perfection Lumiere Velvet with fingertips and it applies very easy, very quick, or I can apply Perfection Lumiere Velvet with different brushes. With this foundation, I only can use a brush and I can't use all brushes. If I start applying this foundation with fingertips, I have to use 
Um, it's very, very time consuming. So it doesn't apply as smoothly with fingertips. I can't just glide it on my face and go like I do with Perfection Lumiere Velvet, but I really, if I want to apply it with fingertips, I have to really go in small sections of my face to really push the foundation so that it doesn't emphasize my pores. So that's why I'm using my favorite brush for this foundation is a Dior brush and this is number 12. This is a full coverage foundation brush by Dior and it has very dense bristles and usually I like to use this brush with foundations that I don't love or with foundations that don't blend as easily because this brush makes all foundations work beautifully. So I'm just going to dot it Okay, so as you can see, the coverage and the finish on my forehead is quite flawless and this is because I really have prepped my skin and I'm using the right brush. If I'm using fingers, you are going to be able to see some pores, so I'm going to dot it really and... Let's get closer. And this is how it looks with half of my face done. So my forehead is done and also this half of my face is done. And I'm applying a very, very thin layer of foundation. And if you prep your skin good, as you can see, you cannot see any pores or imperfections, major imperfections. It covers pretty nice. So let me get the good close up. So this is my whole face done and I haven't applied foundation under my eyes because I I feel that it's this foundation is quite irritating on my skin, especially when I apply it under my eyes, I feel irritation on my skin. So that's why I'm avoiding my under eye area. So I'm going to apply a little bit of concealer under my eyes and I'll be back. Okay, so that's with the concealer under my eyes. I applied a little bit of concealer and I didn't powder my face. Now, as you can see, probably my face still keeps a little bit of its luminosity and this is because I over moisturized my skin. So with this foundation, I find that you have to, if you prep your skin the right way, this is definitely going to be the same as Perfection Lumiere Velvet. So the minor difference that I find between these two foundations. This is the Perfection Lumiere Velvet and this is the Ultra Latin Velvet. So the difference that I find here is that Perfection Lumiere Velvet blends more effortlessly. I can apply it on the go with my fingertips and just it's, I'm good to go. But if I want to have the same flawless finish with Ultra Latin Velvet, I definitely need this brush. Otherwise, I'm never going to get this really flawless finish with Ultra Latin Velvet. I have to exfoliate my skin, I have to over moisturize my skin and use this brush and then I'm going to get this really beautiful flawless finish. Now when I look at myself in a magnifying mirror I, I cannot see the foundation uh, but also if I start building up this foundation it is going to be visible because you can build up the foundation if you use a good primer underneath, but I personally don't build up the coverage because I am immediately going to look, lose that luminosity that's going on on my face right now. And the luminosity is mainly because I really over moisturized my skin. I, I applied so much moisturizer that with a different foundation, I would be like a grease ball. But 
For this foundation, over moisturizing my skin works really nice. But if I start building up the foundation, I'm going to lose that luminosity. Now, as I look at myself in the magnifying mirror, I can definitely see the foundation has settled a little bit into my pores around here. This is because when I was a teenager, I, I used to have acne and I was using um, from this nose strips for blackheads. And I have some dilated pores around here on the sides of my nose. Now the camera is not going to catch this because I don't have a 4K camera, but still when I look at myself in a magnifying mirror, I can see the foundation has settled into the pores that I have here. So if you have a lot of dilated pores, you will have to use primer beforehand because this foundation tends to settle into dilated pores. With Perfection Lumiere Velvet this would never happen, it would never settle into my dilated pores, it would just blur them and erase them. Now because there is a little bit of a change in the ingredients, for some reason my skin, I have very sensitive skin and for some reason right after applying this foundation my skin feels a little bit itchy it feels like I have something on my skin and it does feel a little bit itchy. Um, but I'm, I just have to wait 10 minutes or 10-15 minutes and this goes away. But probably they added a little bit more alcohol or a little bit more talc than in the previous version. I don't know why this is happening. My skin never reacts to Chanel foundations. However, with this foundation it does react a little and it's it's a little unpleasant, so I'm not going to get any redness or anything like that. My skin is not going to get breakouts. It just starts to feel a little bit itchy, like, I don't know, like I have some little bugs on my face or something like that. But keep in mind once again that my skin is very, very, very sensitive. And this is why actually I prefer the Perfection Lumiere Velvet. Actually many reasons why I prefer the Perfection Lumiere Velvet, but one of the reasons why I prefer the old formulation is definitely because I didn't have that issue with the little itchiness. So bottom line, Ultra Latin Velvet is a very beautiful, very lightweight foundation. It's suitable for oily skin. Um, it's actually very, very good for oily skin because it absorbs the oil and your you don't have to worry and you are probably most of you are not even going to need to blot during the day because it really is oil absorbing. However, if I could choose between those two, I would definitely go for Perfection Lumiere Velvet because it blends more beautifully on my skin and I don't need to, to take the time to prep my skin so well to use it. Um, definitely this is the better foundation for me. So I want to show you now quickly both foundations on my hand and how they blend because on my hand it my hand is not prepped. It's not moisturized, it's not it doesn't have anything. Okay starting with Perfection Lumiere Velvet and I'm gonna apply it right just a little dot right here. So this is Perfection Lumiere Velvet and here I'm going to be applying Ultra Latent Velvet. So this is Perfection Lumiere Velvet and this is Ultra Latent Velvet. So let's go ahead and blend them now. And as I blend it, Perfection Lumiere Velvet blends immediately and basically it it disappears into the skin immediately. So I blended Perfection Lumiere Velvet with my middle finger. Now I'm going to be using my ring finger, my Ultra Latin Velvet, and look now. Oops. And look now, it looks thicker. So I cannot blend Ultra Latin Velvet with a single stroke. I have to work a little bit more to blend it. So let's go ahead and work a little bit more. So the issue here is that I can't blend with a single stroke Ultra Latin Velvet. So definitely it has probably a little bit more coverage or I don't know how to say it. But, um, so I've already done this experiment on both of my hands and if 
I apply Perfection Lumiere Velvet on one hand and then Ultra Latin Velvet on the other hand. On the hand where I have Ultra Latin Velvet, it's going to stay a little bit longer, but also my skin is going to look very dry. And here, Perfection Lumiere Velvet is almost going to disappear. It's, it's just going to blend with the skin. It's going to become one with the skin. So let's take a closer look. I'm not sure that the camera is going to really catch this little difference. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to subscribe, like and leave me a comment. Let me know if you've tried the new Ultra Latent Velvet or the renamed Perfection Lumiere Velvet. I'm not going to say reformulated because obviously a lot of people feel a little bit offended. So thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye!